This is AWR Microwave Office tutorial series. In this video, we will learn how to design a microstrip line and verify its parameter using transmission line tools integrated within the AWR design environment. So let's get started. In the first step of this video, we are going to open AWR design environment and calculate the parameters for microstrip line. To do that, we'll go to tools and select transmission line tool from here. Now in this tool, as you can see, we can perform several calculations for microstrip line, strip line, coplanar waveguide, coplanar waveguide ground and for coaxial cable as well. So let's go back to microstrip tab. Here we are not going to change the name of the dielectric. Let's enter the value of dielectric constant which should be 4.7, loss tendency should be 0.05, the impedance we are going to use in our simulation is 50 ohm single ended transmission line. Frequency will be 1 gigahertz. So let's change it to 1 gigahertz here. Length of a transmission line will enter during the schematic design. So let it be like that. Then we have to enter the height of the substrate. So first make sure you have selected mm here. Enter 1.6 mm as the height of the substrate here and then click over this arrow. Now once you'll do that, Again, I'm going to change the physical length as well as the width of a transmission line to mm. So now we can see as per these parameters, the width of the transmission line should be 2.90732 mm. All right. So let's note down this value somewhere uh, because we are going to use this value during the schematic design. All right. Now we can close this window and create a new schematic to do that. We'll go back to our project window, go to circuit schematic, click over new schematic. Let's name it microstrip line and click over create button. Place the substrate or M sub from the library. So to do that, we'll open library using control L in our keyboard. Then we are going to enter here M sub, which is microstrip substrate. Let's select that and click over OK. We are going to place it somewhere here. Now we, we are going to change the values. So let's make it 4.7, the dielectric value. Height is 1.6 mm. ER nominal will be 4.7 as well. And loss tangent is 0 0.05. Then we are going to add the transmission line, which will be microstrip line or MLIN. To do that, we'll again go back to the library and search for MLIN. OK, and we'll place it somewhere here. The width of a transmission line, as we have calculated, it is 2.9 mm. And length, let it be like that. And make sure the M sub ID should be sub 1, which should be same as here. All right. Next, we are going to complete the circuit. So first, we have to add a input port, which should be a 50 ohm port 1. And then we are going to add ground at the other side of the board. Now for the length of the transmission line, as you can see on your screen, it should be minimum lambda by eight. And we have already discussed that in previous video, how we got this lambda by eight. And if you'll calculate the wavelength, wavelength is speed of the signal divided by frequency. So in case of microstrip line, the speed of a signal is not straightforward. The signal will be traveling on air as well as on dielectric. All right. To calculate that, we have to calculate the E effective. So as you can see on your screen, the formula should be like that. E effective is equal to ER plus 1 divided by 2 plus ER minus 1 by 2. And then it, there is a relation of height and width of the transmission line. So here, here H will be the height of the substrate and width is and W is width of the transmission line. If we we'll enter all these values, we'll get E effective is 3.52. All right, then we are going to calculate the speed of signal, which should be V is equal to speed of light divided by square root of E effective or dielectric constant effective. If we'll calculate that and put the wavelength value, then we'll get one eighth of the wavelength should be 19.9 mm. Then we are going to enter this value 19.9 mm, the place of length. All right, and we are good to go for running the simulation. Now, before running the simulation, we are going to set up the project option. To do that, we'll go to project window, select project option, double click here, 
and just select the frequency. So in our case, we are going to run it for single point, which is one gigahertz. Click on apply and okay. To add a new graph, we'll go to graph tab, right click, click over new graph. Make sure to select the rectangular plot and click over create button. Now to add the measurements on this graph, we'll right click here and click over add new measurements. We are going to plot for impedance. To do that, we'll just select port parameters and from here we have to select source should be the same as the name of the schematic and click over add and close it. Now to run the simulation, we'll click over this analyze button. So the impedance should be 50 ohm. As you can see here, if I'll add marker, perfect. So at one gigahertz, we can see the impedance is 49.116343 ohm, all right? So yeah, this is how we can verify the characteristics of the impedance for particular stack up. In the next step, we are going to save the project. To do that, we'll go to file and click over save project. We are going to save it on desktop and let's name it microstrip impedance and click over save button. For more tutorials, visit us at resources.emaeda.com and don't forget to like and subscribe our YouTube channel.